Hey guys, what's going on? All right, I uh, just got back in from my morning hunt and I'm gonna head back out. It's a little bit of rain right now and kind of shitty to be out there. But I figured tonight when I get back, it's gonna be dark. Uh, I'm gonna want a good meal. Cook a meal like with a crock pot, things like that while I'm not in the rig, knowing that when I get home, I'll have a nice meal, you know what I mean? Not have to run my generator the whole time. So what I'm doing is I'm making a, it's called Catalina beef. It's what I called it. Uh, and it's a simple two ingredient crock pot recipe. And I'm going to show that to you now. All right, guys, what we have here is my small crock pot. This is perfect. Now this is, I think a two quart crock pot. Um, and it's actually the perfect size for the RV because not only is it small, it only takes 150 watts of power, um, but it's big enough to make a meal for two to three people. Now, it's just me out in the woods tonight, um, so for, for the next couple nights, actually. I can use it without having to use a big monster crock pot and, you know, waste the extra power. I am running 100% on solar and batteries, so um, anytime I can save a little energy the better. Now I could cook with propane and stuff like that, but if, if solar is free, you know, power of the sun, why not use it? What we got here is just under a pound. I would say probably, I mean, I'm guesstimating here, maybe three quarters of a pound of stew meat. Uh, normally I like to use roast or uh, London broil, something like that. Uh, but the stew meat was on sale and I figured, hey, why not? I don't, I think I've ever actually made it with stew meat. I think I've used just London broil, but this is called Catalina beef. And the reason why it's called Catalina beef is all you gotta do is take your beef and add Catalina salad dressing. Catalina is very close to French, um, but I wouldn't use French. I would only use the Catalina. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is just add your Catalina. Now this is a small one, just enough to cover. You don't have to use the whole thing. And mix it up. Stir it in there, get the Catalina all the way around the meat. Now you could season the meat too if you want. I find the Catalina has plenty of seasoning. It is starting to pour. I don't even know if I'll get back out to hunt tonight. All right, and that is it. I mean, you don't get any easier than this. Crock pot beef of some sort. You know something, you want to take a London broil, cut it up. I do that all the time. Or stew meat or anything like that. Um, it even works with chicken and other things. Just Catalina dressing. Cover that. We're going to leave that on high for the first half an hour or so to bring it up to temperature and then we're going to switch it back down to low. Running on solar guys, this is the way it's done and this is why I put so much effort into batteries and solar because I want to be able to, to do things like this, you know? Listen to that rain, wow. So I'm out here at some hunting property at an undisclosed location. Um, nice area here, it's a gravel parking lot. And the trails go out right through where I'm showing you now. Um, this is where I boondocked last night. And I'm actually staying here tonight, too. All right, let's check on that uh, Catalina beef. All right, guys. Well, you can see the steam starting to cut you know, fog up the lid a little bit. Looking good in there. Now we're gonna switch it on to low because I want it to cook, you know, the full eight hours. Um, if I was gonna do it in four, I'd leave it on high. Um, but I like this to be slow done. And then all that Catalina turns into an awesome gravy. And uh, I tell you guys, I, I challenge you to make this. You're gonna love it. I do it with mashed potatoes every time because that Catalina dressing turns into such an awesome gravy that it goes great with mashed potatoes. So we'll probably steam some broccoli and uh, 
have it with this. All right. Well, it's been about four hours. Look at that, huh? I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me see if I can get a light down on there. Bubbling away. We'll let this go on low for the full eight hours. When I put the solar system in and the new batteries, I figured the more I can cook with solar, free power, the longer my propane tanks will last. Look at that steam. The beef Catalina looks unbelievable. Ridiculously tender. Um, as you can tell, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't even fill the crock pot because it's only me here. So I really only need enough food for one person with a, maybe a little bit of leftovers. That brings me to the potatoes. You know something? These instant 99 cent mashed potatoes, I don't buy them really because they're cheap. I buy them because they're easy and they're pretty good. You know, I don't like the fact that it's got 380 or 390 milligrams of sodium. Um, if you eat the whole pack, that's like a ramen noodle. It's well over a thousand milligrams of sodium. Um, so anybody that sits there and cooks two or three of these as a meal, man, you might as well go out into the field and start licking on one of the cow's salt licks because that's pretty much what you're eating. You're eating bouillon cubes like breath mints and that's not necessarily the healthiest thing to do. All right, enough with the uh, Surgeon General's warning. We're gonna cook this up. The one thing I do different with these, it says to use two cups of water. I use one cup of water and one cup of milk and a tab of butter. I do that every time I make these. Um, I find that they become more creamy and less clumpy. The last thing you wanna do with these uh, instant potatoes is make them dry, cause then they're like, I don't know, like that paste glue type stuff. And you don't want that. You want a nice creamy uh, mashed potato. They wanna be fully hydrated. And time after time, I see other videos where you have these mashed potatoes that look like I don't know, look like Play-Doh on the end of a spoon and it's not supposed to be that way, as far as I'm concerned. It's supposed to be creamy potatoes. All right, I'm gonna make these up. Move this light over. Now look at this. Added black pepper, a little extra milk. Nice and creamy. Still hold on to the whisk or the spoon. Nice. Don't just go by the directions, people. Add your own little touch to things. We're gonna plate this up. Nice. Mashed potatoes that actually look like mashed potatoes. Nice and hot. Look at that, huh? This is beef Catalina. There's probably enough here for two meals for me. Unless I'm real hungry. Now I got my mashed potatoes, right? We we'll make the little well of gravy right in the center. Come on, we gotta have a veggie here. Green is good. Of course, doing all this one-handed, gotta give me props for that. You gotta at least give me a thumbs up for that. Some broccoli. Close that up. Look at that. Steaming hot. Now that's a good meal right there. That's a stick to your ribs kind of meal. All right, guys. Well, 
Time to dig in. You know something? The meat don't even need the fork, uh, the knife. Mmm. Broccoli's done perfect. Still got a little texture to it. You know, something you can chew. Now I'll go on, see what's going on in the tubes, and uh, watch a couple videos while I eat. Bon appetit, guys. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to wear a hat at the table, right? We'll put it there for now. Excuse my hat head. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon.